welcome back to my channel. So today I want to do a Shop My Stash for Summer. So I've been doing my Shop My Stash this year in 2020 seasonally and I've been really enjoying doing it that way. I used to do it for a little while, I did it every two weeks, then I was doing it for a month and now I'm doing it seasonally and I'm really enjoying that. So I'm kind of pulling things out of my collection that really scream the season that we're in. So in Canada it's officially summer, well everywhere it's officially summer, but here it actually feels like summer now. So I am finding that I want to reach for some different things than what I had previously in my spring shop my stash. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the products that I had in the spring shop my stash. I like to keep these videos nice and short, but I will link the spring one in the description box down below if you want to see what products I was using from last season. I will, however, mention one product that I did decide to declutter, and this is the Urban Decay Big Bang Metalized Lipstick. It's just like a little deluxe size sample. It's very sparkly, um, and I put it in my Shop My Stash on purpose because I really hadn't been reaching for it, and I wasn't sure if I just didn't like it or what, and I don't. <laughs> I just don't like glittery lipsticks. I just don't think they look good on me. I don't have like really large lips and I do have quite a few like lines in my lips. So I find anything like this that has that sort of glittery finish really emphasizes those lines. So I am gonna pass this one along or put it in my little declutter bag to pass along. Um, but let's dive into the products that I'm gonna be enjoying. So <clears throat> I decided for this go around. I was going to say this month, but this season, I'm not going to pick any palettes. Last season, I had three palettes in my Shop My Stash, and I really enjoyed all of them. I almost exclusively used those palettes for the entire season. However, a good majority of that time, we were in self-isolation, so I wasn't wearing a lot of makeup, and I find that now that I am able to wear, not that I couldn't wear makeup before, but now that I'm back to work and I'm wearing makeup all the time, I'm just so inspired by all of my palettes. And the other part of that is I'm not wearing a lot of lip products because I have to wear a mask at work. So I'm really enjoying playing with different eye makeup techniques, different colors, different palettes are sort of inspiring me from day to day. So I really wanted to give myself like free reign to just use whatever palette I wanted. I used to do this thing where I'd kind of rotate my palettes. So today I'd use this one and when I was done it, I would put it in the back if that makes sense and I would just kind of rotate through them. So I wanted to do something sort of like that this summer and really utilize all of my palettes. Um, make sure you're following me over on Instagram. I'll put my handle on the screen right here. That's where I usually feature like makeup of the day photos, stuff like that. Um, I don't film a lot of tutorials because to be honest, nobody watches them. So I do once in a while do like a chatty get ready with me. I am due to do one of those. Um, but if you wanna see the makeup looks that I'm doing day to day, Instagram is the place to find them. So what I decided to do for this round, I filled up my little basket already. Um, and I put, first of all, I put lippies that I wanna make sure that I use over the summer. So these are the colors that scream summer to me. And because I'm really not wearing lip products to work today, as you can see, I'm going to work after this. So I just have like a lip gloss on, um, which I'll wipe off before I put my mask on because otherwise it's all on the inside of my mask and what was the point? Um, but I have quite a few colors that really feel like summer to me and I wanna make sure that I'm wearing them at least once over the season. Um, and then I also have a couple of lippies that I think I might be able to wear under a mask. Like I think they may actually be fully transfer proof. So we're gonna test that out on a shorter work day. It's not gonna be today, but let's dive into the lippies first and then I'll talk about the other products that I am gonna sort of focus on. Okay, so first of all, <laughs> These are the bullet lipsticks that I really want to make sure that I'm wearing at some point over the summer. So these are the ones I'll probably wear most often in like videos because I usually tend to wear like a bullet lipstick in videos. I think they just make your lips look so nice and if I don't want to wear it all day it's easy to remove. So first of all I've got a couple of Urban Decay ones. So I have the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Streak, and this is one of their more sheer formulas. This is the old packaging. It's sort of a corally pink color. It's really beautiful. I wore this one when we went to Cuba. It feels almost like a lip balm on your lips. It's very, very comfortable, and it's very summery, so I wanna make sure that I wear that one. And the other one is 
uh, Menace. So this is one of their like mega mattes, I think. And it's like a really hot pink actually it's like very similar to my nail color um, I love this one um, it's one of my favorites so that one as well I want to make sure that I wear and then I have two others that are like very similar in color um, one of them is the Smashbox be legendary lips lipstick in nine to five another sort of hot pink but this one's more of like a cream formula where the Urban Decay one is very matte and then uh, similar in tone is the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche in Sangria. This one's like a little bit deeper. So those are like some faves for filming in. And the other Smashbox one I have here is the color Power On. And this is a matte and it's like an orangey red. It's super, super fun. And it's a matte formula, but it's super comfortable. I have one gloss in here and this is the Revlon the words are tiny ultra HD lip lacquer in the color 565 Sunstone again it's like a coral kind of an orangey coral color really beautiful lip gloss I'll probably wear that one just like out and about or like maybe when I'm filming and then I have a bunch of liquid lipsticks here that are ones that I would normally wear to work when it's summertime because they're fun and they're bright and you do like a nice little bronzy eye with it and it's so cute um, I just am not sure which formulas I might be able to wear under a mask. The only one I'm really pretty sure about is these Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink lipsticks, liquid lipsticks. Um, these are the four colors that I sort of picked out that I definitely want to try out. Um, can they go under my mask? Are they going to smudge? I just don't know. There's only one way to find out. So I have four of those here. I have Romantic, Inspirer heroin and pioneer so i've got two sort of brighter pinks and uh like an orangey red and a true red so i'm going to try those under my mask i'll let you guys know in a future video um, if that worked out let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see a video about um, makeup that works well under a mask because i think we're for those of us who have to wear a mask to work i think that's something we're all sort of struggling with i know a lot of people have just decided to not wear makeup but just can't get down with that and then I have three others that are just like summer favorites again that I want to make sure that I wear at some point over the summer these ones are probably ones that I'll wear like out to dinner or like on a patio or something like that I have the dose of colors pinky promise another sort of hot pink color um, the Ofra liquid lipstick in Santorini it's like a little bit shimmery but not like in an obnoxious way and then the last one I have here is the uh, Duce Lip Luscious Lip Stain. I don't know what color this is, Passion Peach. Again, it's like, a, I obviously like like hot pinks and corals in the summertime. So these are ones that even though they're liquid lipsticks, these three, even though they're liquid lipsticks, they do sort of feather around the lip line a little bit. So I don't think I'll wear them at work because I don't want to chance them underneath a mask. But these are ones that I'll wear, like I said, out to dinner, something like that, when I want my lipstick to last, but I'm not putting a mask on my face. Okay, I feel like I rambled about lipsticks for like 10 minutes. Um, aside from the lippies, I have a deep love for these single eyeshadows hair just like floated off one of them um, so in my last shot my stash I had the ColourPop super shock shadow in the color set to stun this is like a rosy sort of metallic color it's really beautiful I love these formulas so that's the only ColourPop one that I have but these ace beauty ones are extremely similar in formula they look almost identical and they're some of my favorite shadows to just like tap over the lid in the summertime, pop a bright lipstick on and you're good to go. So I have that color pop one. I have, this one is on my eyes today and it's called Huckleberry. My friend Cheyenne gave me this one. She got it in a boxy charm. Um, I also have the color Cotton Candy, which is kind of a peachy color. And then the last one I have is Ice Latte, which is probably my most worn. It's a little bit of a bronze type of color. So I want to make sure that I'm using those in addition to my palettes that I'm going to sort of rotate through. Um, these will eventually dry up and go bad and I want to make sure I'm using them because they're some of my favorite things in my collection. And then the last 
sort of four items that are going in my basket are things, things that I want to be testing out over the summer. So in a recent haul video, I mentioned that I had gotten this mini of the Milk Makeup Baked Matte Bronzer. Um, and it's their cream bronzer stick. So I've been really enjoying it, but I kind of have been going in phases where I'm using it, not using it, using it, not using it. I haven't figured out fully if I love it with my BB cream, which is why I purchased it. Um, so I just wanna make sure that I'm using that over the summer. Um, that is the reason I bought it. I bought it to sort of do like the no makeup makeup with like a BB cream, you know that kind of a moment. So I want to make sure that I'm using that. And then I also got the Iconic London Illuminator, um, the little drops. I don't know what color, it just says original. It's the lighter one. Um, and I haven't used this yet. And I had said in the BoxyCharm video when I received these, that these would be really great for summer and I haven't even cracked them open. So I'm putting this in my Shop My Stash to make sure that I use it over the summer because I think that could be really pretty like over the shoulders or the chest area um, and even just tapped over as a highlight. I wanted to try mixing it with my primer. Like there was a lot of different ways that I wanted to try this out. So by putting it in my Shop My Stash, I think I'm kind of guaranteeing that I'll do that. And then I can let you guys know my real thoughts on that. And then I have a few sets of lashes that I wanna test out. I've been really enjoying, if you didn't see my video, about my magnetic lashes. I'll link it below. These are the ones I've been wearing quite often in videos. I don't have them on today because I can't really wear them to work because I wear safety glasses when I'm filing um, and they kind of like hit the windshield. But those are the ones I've been wearing in my videos. And then I picked up these Ardell magnetic lashes at Cosmoprof. So I wanted to give those a try. They look fairly different in style to the others. Um, and they only have three magnets on them where these ones have five. So I wanted to see, are they more comfortable because there's less magnets on them, but do they also still stay on? So I'll let you guys know about those. <clears throat> and then the other set of lashes I have here were actually sent to me. These are from Love Lashes. Um, these are not magnetic, they're just regular. Um, well, they're just regular. They're super fancy and beautiful. These are them. So this is from the company Love Lashes. It's a Canadian company. They reached out to me and asked if they could send me some lashes to see what I thought. And I said, yes, I haven't had a chance to wear them yet because you know, life's been weird. So I thought I'll put them in my shop, my stash. I'll definitely be wearing them in a video soon. So keep your eye out for that. I'll also make sure when I put these on to feature them in like a makeup of the day photo on Instagram. So I thought if I put them in here, then I'll definitely, you know, try them out that makes sense. So those are all the items that I picked for my summer shop my stash. Um, let me know what you guys think down below. Have you found that you're like newly inspired by your makeup now that we're, some of us are back to work? Are you back to work? What's happening where you are? I feel like it's very different <laughs> depending on where you live. Um, where I live in New Brunswick, um, things are kind of getting back to some semblance of normal. So most people at this point are back to work even if they may be working from home still. My husband is still working from home. So leave me some comments down below. Let me know what things are like where you are. Let me know if you're feeling newly inspired by your makeup. Let me know what you think of my choices. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And I'll see you guys soon in another video. Bye.